Notice the two icons at the bottom. These are the flashlight and the camera. My favorite thing about being able to customize my iPhone screen is that you can now remove these icons at the bottom. Long press on your lock screen, tap the customize button, and choose lock screen. Each of these icons has a minus sign beside it. I'm going to remove the flashlight. To remove the icon, tap the minus sign. You can remove one or both of these icons. I select that lock screen. You can see that I have no icons on the bottom. If you want to modify your lock screen shortcuts for all of your lock screens or wallpaper pairs, you'll need to do it individually for each one, as I'm doing here. Unlike when you reset your home screen layout on your iPhone, these customizations apply only to the wallpaper pair that you have selected. So to remove the flashlight and camera icons for each of my lock screens, I have to select a lock screen, tap Customize, and then remove both the camera icon and the flashlight icon. You'll want to make sure that you're actually in Customize mode before you do this. If, for example, you're not in the Customize mode and you try to remove the flashlight by long pressing on it, or even pressing on the plus sign, which wouldn't be there, you'll just turn the flashlight on. Over the years, I've accidentally activated my flashlight when I didn't mean to. This uses up a lot of battery power, so I decided to make this its own dedicated video so I could show you how to remove the flashlight icon. If you'd like me to show you how to customize these icons, leave a comment down below and I'll make that video. As we review my lock screens, once more, you'll see that there are no icons at the bottom of any of my lock screens. There are several different methods for creating new wallpaper pairs. If you create a new wallpaper pair, no matter what method you use, you will have to repeat this process. Just long press in the blank space on your lock screen and swipe left or right to choose one of your existing lock screens. You can Use the plus sign with the blank lock screen at the end to create a brand new lock screen. However, you'll still have to remove the flashlight and camera icons. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like. Join me next time when I'll do a video on how I customized my lock screen. Here's another video recommended by YouTube. Watch videos on this playlist for more tutorials like this.